Welcome to the Cold and Dark Start tutorial for the MV22 Osprey for MSFS. Let's get right to it. From a Cold and Dark aircraft, head up to the overhead panel and flick on the batteries. Now switch the APU over to Run and wait for the Run indicator. Once it appears, the APU is running and we can now head down to the CDU and continue our startup. We'll switch the CDU brightness over to night or day depending on the situation. Click the lights key on the CDU, set your exterior lights as required, then head up to the overhead panel, set your interior lights as required. On the CDU, hit the ICAS key to reset the page to default. Now set display brightness as required to night or day for all of the MFDs on the main panel. On the overhead panel, check that rotor brake is off. And on the MFD, check the rotor lock is off. If it's off, it will be shown in green. We can now return the MFD to the regular PFD display mode. We now want to set the engine nacelles to 90 degrees in preparation for engine and propeller startup. On the overhead panel, set the right engine control lever to start. The props will start to spin as engine 2 powers up. Monitor the engine start and when the NG value for engine 2 is 70 or close to it, move the engine 2 lever on the overhead panel to the fly position. We'll now repeat the process with engine number 1. With both engines started, we can now switch off the APU by setting it to the stop position. On the pedestal, check flaps are set to auto. To taxi out, we'll want to return the nacelles to 60 degrees. Perform any autopilot setup you want to do, which is all specified in my full flight video, then park and brake off and taxi out. On the runway, Set nacelles anywhere between 60 and 90 degrees for a short to vertical takeoff. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like, feel free to subscribe, take care and I'll see you next time.